I want to show you a quick setup for currencies and exchange rate services in Business Central. These are the current currencies I have set up in my system. I just set up the Great British Pound. Let's take a look at that. What you want to do is set up each currency that you're going to use in your system similar to this. So really what you need is the code, the ISO code, and the ISO numeric code. So get that for all the currencies that you want. The next thing to do is set up the exchange rate service. You do that here. This is a free exchange rate service from float rates. You can see how I have it set up here. So the things you need to do here are a couple of things. First of all, here's the service URL. You can see that. And then I want to go down here and do the field mapping. The field mapping is actually pretty easy to do. All I need are these five fields filled out and mapped to the source. In this case, this maps to the float rates source. It's easy to change these. I can just click in here, select the value that I want. And for float rates, it should look something like this. We've got channel item, target currency, target currency, publish date, and then item exchange rate. And you want to put this one item down here. This is a fixed default value. You also want to get the format over here. So once you set that up and you enable it up here, it'll create a job in Business Central to automatically run this on a regular basis. What you can also do is run it whenever you want to. So let's go and look at the job query. Here's the job here that was set up when I set up the exchange rate service. Now I just put in the new Great British Pound. What I want to do now is process and run it once. It's going to run it one time. It's going to go get the rates and update my currencies. So I did this. Then going forward, I don't have to do this because this particular job will run automatically every day at 8 o'clock. So let's take a look at the currencies. And you can see that the British pound was updated just now. They updated it here. This is the current rate from float rates. So it's really quite easy to set this up in Business Central. It's easy to add the currencies. And you want to also do the accounting behind the currencies for realized and unrealized gains and losses.